Hello, so um, I wanted to follow up on uh, the last video and um, share with you how I managed to read the EDF. So I connected my computer to an oscilloscope to the Rigol D1054Z and um, with the user interface you can download the, the data that it is um, shown on the screen but this gives you uh, here this gives you a file where was it again I think it was here yes oh not here Yes, uh, so this gives this waveform EDF. It's a European data format. And I didn't know how to read it until I so the I managed to use to find a Python library called PyEDFLib, uh, where you can so you, you put the um, name of the file and then you get the signals in the file because you can have multiple signals in our case multiple channels or um, multiple um, spectrometer data for example for in, in case uh, of a spectrometer and we create a buffer and then we go through the number of signals so n is the here is the number of signals so in our case it's one and we go through it and you basically get back what the signal data is for N, uh, i so we have x this is we have as many times as the number of signals and every signal has an, a number of data points so what i do here is i just plot the f read signal of i which is, as I said earlier, uh, here, so it's not readable, it's not human readable. But you can see we have one channel, and yeah, basically that's it. If I use, then I plot it using matplotlib. Sorry, I need to go to. Conda and then Python read, and here we go. So we can even sim read, we can print this. And here you can you can see the the data points here up which is incredibly interesting because this way you can process the data you get from an oscilloscope directly on, uh, on your computer